Hi, this is Matt Stone of 180 Degree Health, and today I wanted to talk about cholesterol controversies and cholesterol myths. There's a lot of them out there, there's a lot of contradictions, and the story that most people have been told is definitely a huge, massive oversimplification. There's a lot more to it, and by the end of this video, you should be thoroughly confused as to uh, the whole mystery of heart disease and cholesterol, and that's a good thing, because the nice, neat, tidy little story you've been fed is definitely an oversimplification. Uh, heart disease has a lot more complexity. There's a lot about heart disease that's still unknown, so if you're not confused, then you know something that is not true. <laughs> so let's get started, shall we? Um, we hear that saturated fat raises your cholesterol. Uh, we hear that uh, you know it's going to bump up your cholesterol. When it does, uh, it's going to increase your risk for heart disease. Now, it's true that if you look uh, at a country like the United States and you look at all the data, you know as you go from a cholesterol level of 170 to 180 to 190 to 200 to 220 to 250 to 300, with each new tier as you go up, there's a slightly higher incidence of heart disease as you go up. Now it's not uh, uh, quite as dramatic and drastic as you might think. Uh, the per a person with a heart, you know, a cholesterol of 170 versus somebody who has a cholesterol of 270, the difference in their heart disease risk is not that different. Uh, a person with a cholesterol of 170 still has a pretty good chance of having a heart attack and there's people all around the world, there's civilizations that have no heart attacks at all. In fact in the 1950s uh, there was a survey done of people in Uganda and they went through each age category, you know, age 20 to 30, age 30 to 40, age 40 to 50, age 50 to 60, all the way up. And in each one of those categories uh, they found less than a 1% chance of having some kind of heart condition or heart attack. Whereas people in Western countries, it was more like 20%, 25%, 36% as you went through those various scales. There's a huge fundamental difference. Another place is the island of Catawba. Catawba is out uh, in Papua New Guinea. It's an isolated island. There are several thousand residents. Uh, there have been doctors, uh, staff in Lindeberg, who is a Swedish doctor. He went there and did a thorough examination of the people there. And he came back with a report that there are no heart attacks there. There's no heart disease, there's no obesity, there's no type 2 diabetes. They're in fantastic shape. So clearly, um, there's more complexity to it. And just being an American or a European with a cholesterol that is considered to be in the healthy range, your heart disease uh, risk is still astronomically higher than somebody living in one of these places. So we know that... Uh, you know, just looking at the number is only part of the story and probably a, this, a small part of the story. Uh, there's more um, uh, contradictions out there from the story you've been fed. Like I said, we believe that saturated fat raises our cholesterol. Well, um, yeah, let's look at the place where they eat more saturated fat than anywhere on earth. The Maasai tribe, uh, people in Kenya, they're nomadic herders and they uh, drink basically nothing but milk, and it's very high-fat milk. It comes from their zebu cattle, which is not a typical 4% butter fat, but closer to 10% butter fat. It's almost like drinking half and half, and that provides almost all of their dietary intake. It's been estimated by George Mann, the researcher from Vanderbilt University that visited these Maasai people and did a thorough examination, um, that... Uh, uh, their cholesterol, they, well, that they take in, first of all, they take in three to four sticks of butter a day uh, from all this milk that they consume, which is a lot of saturated fat, <laughs> I promise. And uh, they have no heart disease, and they're, not only do they not have heart disease, which may come as a surprise, but their cholesterol is extremely low. The average cholesterol level is 125 milligrams per deciliter. Very, very low risk category. Uh, at that rate, much lower than anyone in the United States, even people eating vegetarian diets, low-fat diets, low-carb diets, whatever kind of diet, uh, these people have much, much lower cholesterol levels. Now, interestingly, a lot of the proponents of the low-fat theory or the saturated fat is bad for you and raises your cholesterol and gives you heart attacks theory have asserted that uh, the Maasai people have developed some kind of magical 
um, special evolutionary adaptation that keeps their bodies from forming cholesterol out of the saturated fat that they consume. And this is an interesting theory. However, when the Maasai people, they go into the city and move away from their lifestyle and their diet of three to four sticks of butter a day, or yes, per day, that is per day, um, their cholesterol actually rises and goes up to what would be normal for everyone else that lives in the city. So a regular mixed diet with uh, you know typical agricultural staples and white flour, white sugar, white rice, um, you know, typical diet that's found basically in every country of the world, their cholesterol goes up just like everybody else's. They don't have any kind of special immunity or ability to not form cholesterol out of the food that they eat. They just have low cholesterol and a very, very high saturated fat diet. Which brings up another point. They have a very, very high cholesterol diet. Very, very high in cholesterol. Now, cholesterol has always been known as something that doesn't raise your blood cholesterol. Now, a human being has somewhere in the neighborhood of five liters of blood circulating through their system at all times, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, cholesterol, when you get that cholesterol reading, oh, my cholesterol's 200, that's 200 milligrams per deciliter or one-tenth of a liter. So multiply that by 50, and that's how much cholesterol you have coursing through your veins at any given time. Now, eating a couple hundred milligrams of cholesterol, kind of like what you might find in, uh, I don't know, a nice glass of milk or something like that, or a steak, um, is only one-fiftieth of the cholesterol that's in your body. It has no impact whatsoever on your cholesterol levels. Uh, it has nothing to do with that. Cholesterol is synthesized in your liver, and it's synthesized in your liver due to factors that are not under your immediate control. They cannot be manipulated by altering the cholesterol intake in your diet. You can eat all the egg yolks you want. You're never going to change your cholesterol level. And even Ansel Keys, who was the original researcher who started this whole uh, you know, fat causes heart disease uh, hypothesis, um, even he admitted that uh, cholesterol will only raise, eating cholesterol will only raise your cholesterol if you're a monkey or a rabbit or a pigeon, which is some of the animal subjects that they used and overfed tons and tons of cholesterol uh, and found that their cholesterol levels uh, went up in response to that. Um, in humans, it doesn't work that way, and they later found in the rabbits, for example, that it was destroying their thyroid gland, their metabolism was shutting down, and we know that uh, having a low metabolism or having hypothyroidism or a thyroid problem will definitely elevate your cholesterol levels. There's another very interesting tidbit of information. So we know that there's more to it than saturated fat raises your cholesterol. We know there's a lot more to it than eating cholesterol raises your cholesterol. Um, and what's interesting also about the Maasai who have no heart disease, they have no heart disease whatsoever and they have a low cholesterol, so we would assume that their arteries would not be clogged. Their arteries are very clogged. And if, in fact, if you go and you do autopsy and you look at their arteries, they're virtually indistinguishable from people in other countries. They're full of arterial plaque. They suffer from atherosclerosis, but they don't have any heart attacks. They don't have raised lesions, and they don't have any actual myo, you know, um, cardiac events, which is uh, very interesting. Certainly, it adds another twist and another complexity to the whole cholesterol heart disease story which basically simply states that you eat fat, fat raises cholesterol, cholesterol jumps into your bloodstream and it starts to clog off arteries and choke them off and then eventually it gets so clogged that you have a heart attack. Well it doesn't work that way for the Maasai, it doesn't work that way for a lot of people. You can have high cholesterol and not have clogged arteries, you can have low cholesterol and have very clogged arteries, uh, you can have very clogged arteries and not have a heart attack, you can have not very clogged arteries and have a heart attack. There's a lot more complexity to it. I hope you are thoroughly, thoroughly confused at this point. Um, <laughs>